skirt the best girl that I've ever known But I don't know how to fix it I know that the time was worth it But she's cut me And I can't make her happy Can still be. I, 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 Linda meant everything I ever said. I ever said. Why, I, 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 why can't we, why can't we go back how we used to be? Why can't she, why can't she? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good morning. It's Thursday, September 16th, and you are watching LP TV. Last Tuesday night, one of our CTE students, Colton Dunkerson, was recognized by the school board. We are now going to tie with Mr. Trevino to talk about Colton's awards. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Trevino in Auto Collision. Mr. Trevino, I heard Colton Dunkerson received an award at the school board meeting. Can you tell us something about that? Yeah, he received an award for winning fourth in nationals. He scored an 817 out of a 827 was the top score and he was just getting an award for his efforts during June. I heard he was a junior. Yeah, he actually, he competed in a competition that it was mainly just all seniors. It was maybe just him and another person that was a junior. So when we started off with the competition, we were hoping for above 50%, and then after the first couple of days, we felt like, uh, you know, he could actually win. So we started going, okay, let's try to see if we can place one through 10. And then towards the end, right before the awards assembly, we were hoping to hit one through three. And like I said, he barely missed it by 17 points, scored fourth. All right, All right. so what do you expect from Colton from this year? Uh, well, actually, uh, we'd be disappointed if we don't win it this year. That's what our goal is in mind, is to go out there and not just win, but win strong. We don't want a 17-point difference from first and fourth. We are truly looking for a blowout. Is that we felt like we should have had it last year, and we didn't. We know what we have to improve on, and we're going to improve on it. All right. This is Ty from LPTV with Mr. Trevino and Auto Collision. Thanks, Ty. Students, we have a hall decorating contest for the Deer Park game next Friday, and so far these halls are taken by these classes and these groups. Cheerleaders, entrance to B-Building. Senior class, hall coming from the senior lot between student center and cafeteria. Thespians, hall outside planetarium. Hope, hallway outside room 26. Decorating may begin next Monday the 20th and must be done Friday the 24th morning at 8 a.m. We also have a card decorating contest as well. There will only be a first place announcement for this. We will have an announcement made as well. We do not allow vulgarity. Secondly, we will have the Most Spirited Student Award for having the most spirited attire next Friday at the Deer Park Pepper Alley. Our varsity football team beat Klein Forest last Friday night. With more on our offensive outlook this year, we're going to Carl with Coach Terrebonne. I'm Carl, we're here with Coach Terrebonne, the Bulldog Offensive Coordinator. Coach, we're going to ask you a few questions. Uh, about the report offense. Why do you believe the Bulldogs offense is stronger this year than last year? I think we have uh, experience with Anthony Webb coming back, an all-district performer with uh, Jeremy McNeil moving over to quarterback, our receivers, Justin Collins, Carl, and uh, Aaron Garrett are returning. Pierre Hernandez, offensive line is going to be, be big and strong. All right. Uh, 
being at the offense that scored 120 points in three games, what are their strengths and weaknesses, starting with the strengths? I think our strength is our consistency and our toughness. I think the offensive line is a real physical group of guys. We've been throwing and catching the ball real well, and we just have that attitude of practice that we work harder than everybody else. All right. Uh, what is your take on the Tuscaseta this week? They're a real well-coached team. Uh, I've, I've worked with the head coach, Coach Dean Coburn. He's a family friend. Uh, I think they're returning from a 10-0 and regular season record, and it's going to be just like a playoff game playing the Eagles. Cool, cool. Um, being that the offense struggled a little bit against Klein Forest, what do you see that we need to work on this week? I, I think we take care of with a good week of practice. Our offense struggled a little to do with how good the Klein Forest defense was, but we'll get back on track this week. All right, well, thanks for your time, Coach. All right. See y'all later. Thanks, Carl. Any juniors that would like to help, Get their junior class off to a good start by helping decorating a hall for the Spirit Week should meet in Miss Wasey's room after school on Monday. If you have any after school activities, then come after those to help. Be thinking of some good ideas and be in room 67 on Monday. Tolerance Club is meeting this Wednesday after school in Miss Wallagora's room in upstairs B building. Thanks, Laporte. Now stay tuned for World of the Senior Flag, Science Club, and Football Highlight Video. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Three. Seniors! Seniors! Hey, seniors. We are creating a senior flag for the class of 2011. Um, we need any Laporte shirts you have, so bring them to Miss Wells' room and B22 by Friday. Thanks! Bye! Bye. Love you. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Americans throw away 70 million water bottles a day, and only 17% of those get recycled. It also takes 450 to 1,000 years in a landfill for one simple water bottle to decay. One way that you can reduce the amount of plastic water bottles you use is to invest in a reusable water bottle like this one. And not everything you throw away gets recycled. So one way to effectively recycle your plastic is to see the nearest recycling center in your town, like the one we have here in LaPorte. Touchdown Bulldogs! 24, Anthony Webb, and that's another Bulldog first down. Number 41, Chad Sutherland. Montana Scott with the stop for the Bulldogs. Is it cool if I get in on this here? Yeah. Dude, go for it! <laughs>